Hey everyone, it's Bella here. Thank you again for joining in for another unboxing video with me. Um, this video will be the Sugar Muses Deluxe Box. I keep mixing up the Lux and the Deluxe, but Sugar Muses Deluxe Box just um, arrived earlier this morning. I didn't get to record earlier, but um, just came home a while ago from um, the Lunar New Year activities out in the city. Um, super crowded super crowded um i didn't even get to take great pics because there was so much people around um just crazy <laughs> i was able to take a few pics but like not as much as i would have liked to to um show um in the shorts or something like that but yeah so but i did get food and i picked it up and um brought some home for the kiddo and I so yeah um I had went by myself she didn't want to go she didn't want to get up early <laughs> to go so it is what it is right oh well, as my shirt says Hakuna Matata right Woo. so let's get opening up this but I mean I could already oh smell this box how oh, it smells so good um so they did provide us with a teaser and an email uh yes so i mentioned this in one of my in my other box for the menemies is that we did get a teaser and this month's theme is the this month's theme for february 2024 is the goddess and aligning with seasonal energies. So that is a little info that we got. So let's dive right in. I forgot to bring my box cover. So this little scissor has to be too. That's where I can get them. May have got that part for nothing. So it's a smaller box this month, not so bad. Oh, and I also wanted to show guys this beautiful, um, I guess I had like people from the MoMA Museum, which is, in case you don't know what the MoMA Museum is, um, the Museum of Modern Art in New York. They had people um, handing out these beautiful cards, um, I guess like, you know, um, advertising the MoMA. But look how beautiful this is for the Lunar New Year. Beautiful. I'm gonna hang this up on my wall. Anyway, back to the box. <laughs> mm. Oh, okay. Maybe it was wrong. Okay, so maybe it was wrong. On the paper, it does not say what I just said, which is weird. But however, this month's theme now is goddess illumination. So I knew if, I knew there were some videos that had went up already with this, but I've been avoiding those videos on YouTube because I like to be surprised too. So this box smells so, so good. To show you, it's gonna be right here at the side. Okay, so to start off, now let me, sometimes I hate searching. So Goddess Illumination, the story of Goddess Freya. Okay. Freya is the goddess of love and fertility in Norse mythology, and she is associated with blessings, lust, beauty, and sorcery. The name Freya means lady, and it can, for instance, also be spelled many different ways. They have all the spellings there. <laughs> Freya is a very important goddess in North mythology, probably more than people realize. She is, according to some, the highest of the Asinger. If I botched that, I apologize. The principal Pathion in North mythology. And one could argue that her status is almost on par with Odin. Norse gods are divided into two subgroups. The Aesir. A-E-S-I-R, and Vanir, 
Freya and her family are part of the Vanir. It was Freya who taught magic, Old Norse, to Odin and the rest of the Aesir. Previously, it was only practiced by the Vanir. Again, if I'm saying these things wrong, I apologize. It is said that she was born knowing the divine secrets of witchcraft and the ruins. The Vanir were shapeshifters associated with magic, creative energy, the sea, and prophecy, eroticism, fertility, and shamanism. I don't know how many of you um, enjoy on the Netflix show, The Last Kingdom, but Freya was mentioned a lot. Well, a lot of um, Norse mythology was mentioned a lot in that show. I love that show. Oh, I just put down the Book of Shadows artwork, Grimma artwork. Oh, okay. So we have two. Of course, one. Oh, I have to take from my hand. One is Freya. All about Freya. So if you want to take a screenshot, you can. So you can read all this later. And oh, beautiful one on hibiscus. This is beautiful. Fortunately, my hibiscus plant did not survive these winter months. It, it really died when it snowed and it was outside. So I gotta do it again. Beautiful. The name hibiscus refers actually to a genus including about 200 species of plants a number of which have medicinal uses uh i hibiscus is um actually one of my favorite flowers um i know it grows in a large amounts throughout the caribbean which i'm from um my grandmother used to have a bunch of hibiscus um plants just growing in the front yard and she still let me pick them <laughs> so those are just memories that I have of grandma, who, oh, who we call as kids, mama. Right. Okay, so this is so cute. So we have uh, the moon sticker on our envelope with our intuitive card that was picked for us. So pretty, oh. And I got peony. Prosperity can be assured if you care well, for tomorrow, that is what I received. The beautiful background. Florals. Oh, this way. Florals. Peony is one of my other favorite flowers. But I know they're seasonal. That's how I could only get them to survive in my vase. <laughs> and they die so quickly after you put them in like a vase of water. Oh, but they're so pretty and I get like all the like um perfume sprays and even the body mist and stuff like that. I love peony. And, oh, I didn't even tell you guys this one. Oh, she... so this deck is from um, Flower Petal Inspiration Cards. Um, They say that you can find this on the Sugar Muses website. I'm sure you could probably also find that on Amazon. Okay. Look how beautiful the tissue paper is. Oh, man, it smells so good and florally, like jasmine or something. Oh, look how look how pretty that is on opening. Chicken Muses knows how to display. Oh, we got a bag of rose botanicals. Oh, love that. Let's see. I guess got. The month of February with all the love, 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 love. Dried rose. Okay. Properties. Love, psychic powers, luck, love, divination, protection. Roses are also linked to female intuition, dream work, avoiding conflict, beauty, confidence, truth, and passion. Due to their high vibrational energy, rose petals are considered powerful aids in manifestation rituals. Their energy can help attract desires into one's life. I love this. My rose plant is surviving. <laughs> surviving. Oh, look at this little bushel. How cute. We received some similar items like this in the past. This 
this paper. Okay. We've seen similar items like, like these little cute bundles in the past, and I've had to like hide them on top of my high shelf from Leo and my cat. How pretty this one is. Oh, wait, you know. Even better, right? You guys can see. You guys can see it? Okay. How pretty. Okay, let's see what this is about. Oops. Is this a dried hibiscus? What is this? Dried rose, dried hibiscus. This can't be it. Botanical offering. Oh, okay. This is a botanical offering. All right. These bundles were created with natural dried grasses and botanicals and contain fern, baby's breath, and bunny's tail, among others. Oh my gosh, so place in front of the statue as oh. Go cute. Okay, I'm trying to read more then. All right, so this is the hibiscus botanical. Okay, I know we got um. Mm. Ooh, it smells sweet. Mm. Hibiscus botanical. I know we got some hibiscus dried hibiscus. Also, I think from another company, the Witch's Moon, back in December. So, I mean, I like this because I usually use these in my rituals. Try hibiscus, magical properties, harmony, joy, love, independence, passion, and divination. Okay. It's like we have a little sachet bag. It's a crystal inside. Oh, how stinky cute. You get a little... I want to say this is rose quartz. A heart shape, just teeny weeny heart shape. Look at that. So pretty. Okay. Dig, dig, dig. Oh, we get two little botanical stickers as well. So pretty. Nope. Get some dark chocolate. Hello. Not bad. <laughs> Not a dark chocolate fan though, but that's okay. Someone will eat it. Rhea, oh, we got a candle, organic soy candle. Oh. Pink. Okay, let's find the. Okay, light the Priya soy candle. Organic soy was infused with notes of grapefruit, cherry tobacco, ginger, and amber accords. That's not nice. I don't get the ginger much, but it's definitely like floral and fruity. Not too heavy on the fruit, but about nice. Okay, so we do get a, it's like a perfume oil. It's both. The perfume oil. Yep, love song perfume oil. What it says in the contents. Oh, okay. Love song perfume oil. Oh, oh, it smells good. Oh, it's, oh, it smells good. That smells so. Oh my God, florally, that is up my alley. Okay, let's see what the notes are. The special blend contains notes of bergamot, rose, sandalwood, and benzoin in an organic almond oil base. Oh man, that's bergamot? Wow, rose. I'm not usually a rose, too much of a rose, but it smells great with the bergamot. Sandalwood, that's, that's nice. Yeah. See what other stuff we got. And we do have a big item in here. So let's put this glass. I just want to dig through and make sure I catch all the small stuff first. Oh. And then this juice cell. Okay. Oh, yes. We got Jasmine Incense, one of my faves, absolute fave. And I don't even need to open the bag to smell that. This is what was coming through the box. 
when the box wasn't even opened yet. Okay. And so we've got we've got a little candle inside. We have a love song ritual salts. Rose petal with hi rose petals, hibiscus, and sandalwood inside of it. Uh, blended with Dead Sea salts, Epsom salt, organic sandalwood, and rose essential oil and fragrance blends. Dried rose petals, dried hibiscus as well. And it looks like there's a little heart shape, a pink heart shaped candle inside of the bag. Let's see right here. How pretty is this? Mm. There's a whole just want you to see there's a whole bath salts with tea light um ritual here. Um self-love bath ritual, I should say more. Created with Epsom salt, dead sea salt. Okay, so just gonna put it here in case you would like to use this on your own so you could take a screenshot. So in case you know you don't get this box and you want to get, you know, do this self-love bath ritual, you can get some of these items and you can do it on your own. Okay. Jasmine incense, we did bath salts, rose quartz, love some perfume, dries, spray candle, set of offering, chocolate. I think this is the last thing. It says it's a Freya statue. Oh, this is nice. How beautiful. This is nice. Oh, let me just show you the, oh, wow. I didn't even see the back. Okay, so this is the front. I'm assuming this is the front, right? Because this is supposed to be free of butt. Oh, look, at, is this her hair knotted or in a, like a ponytail or a necklace? I'm not sure, but let's check out all the sigils of the side. And look at the back. I'm assuming these are little cats. And with the swords. Oh, that's, oh, that's a cat's tail. <laughs> the top. The top. This is nice. The statue is made out of poly resin to resemble wood and stands six inches tall. She is depicted with her iconic attributes such as cats and her cloak of falcon feathers. Okay, that's supposed to be her cloak. And that's the feathers, I'm assuming at the side. And I, the thing I read, cause I was like, oh, is that her hair? That's nice. Oh, wow. Okay, so I think I went through all of the items in the box. This was a nice box. I mean, if you're really if you're into the girly sense and all that jazz, this is for you. I love this. I just want to go back and so the spelling of her name in so many ways. So F. Oh, okay. In the back, it has it spelled as Freya, one of the ways it's spelled. Um, and I'm just going to, and these must be ruins in the back. Oh, oh, the front. I guess whichever one you want to use it as, right? These are ruins, um, rune symbols. I do not know all of them by heart. I mean, I do have a runes um, sheet depicting all of what they are that I had gotten from another box. Um, and I'll definitely be using that to kind of like decipher what that means and stuff. So yeah. Okay. That's all. That's it for this 
month's video of the Sugar Muses Deluxe um, box for February 2024. Um, this was a beautiful box. Another one that Christy and Nina just knocked out of the park. What can I say? Um, so yeah, thanks again for joining in with me and hanging out with me while I do this unboxing video. My favorite items. Oh my gosh. I liked everything. <laughs> Not too much of a fan of the dark chocolate, but you know, that's that's to each their own. But um, I definitely love the statue, the ritual salts, the oil, the perfume oil, the candle, all the herbs. Oh my god, the rose and the hibiscus. And I mean, jasmine, incense. Oh, and this little cute guy right here. This was a beautiful box. I enjoyed practically everything pretty much. So if you get this box, chat down below and let me know your thoughts on it. How did you think about it? How did you feel? I mean, this, this is so beautiful. Smells are exhilarating. All right, so that wraps up this video. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, wherever you are. Stay safe and blessed be. Bye, guys.